In this example, I will show you how to make a linear forecast and log linear forecast. For that, we have uh, sales data. We have sales data starting from 2001 uh, until 2006. In order to make a linear forecast, we need to change the adjust the time uh, variable. So we will give uh, starting from 2001 as a 1 as the time variable. And then we will continue to do that uh, from 1 to 6. So we will actually enumerate each year's uh, starting from 1 to 6. First, uh, we need to see the scatter plot of the data in order to decide which forecasting method we will use. So let's select the data and insert the scatter plot. Here, we will choose uh, without line. And as you see in this graph, you'll realize that there is a linear trend in the data. If there is a linear trend in the data, the, mes the best method is going to be uh, linear forecasting. Let's do some arrangement on the chart. First, let's give names to our titles, uh, our axis. Horizontal axis is our time variable. So here we will write this time. And on the vertical axis, we have sales data. And let's write here the sales. And I want to give a name for my graph. So I'll choose here legend and legend at the top. And I'll write it as Now, the next thing we are going to do is adding a trend, trend line, but we are not going to choose a linear trend line. We will, but we will choose more trend line options. Here is linear trend line, and we want to see the equation. We want to see the R square and down. Yes, now you can be able to see the linear equation, and in this linear equation, x variable is my time. And this linear equation shows uh, if x changes, what is going to happen to the y. Now, how I'm going to forecast? For forecasting, uh, forecast at cell, cells, I will use this linear equation. Let's start with the constant term. And we need the intercept term. Done. So I can be able to forecast 2001 sales by using the linear equation and the linear equation tells me that my forecasted sales uh, is, uh, are going to be around 98 units and I can do this for each year and we can find how much is going to be my forecast uh, forecasted sales for each year by using the linear equation model. Now I want to calculate the last year's uh, sales. So what I'm going to do is since I have, I need the only year for calculating the forecasted sales by just entering 7 here, you can be able to find 2007 mm -hmm. forecasted sales, which is around 174 units. Now the next thing is we will calculate the root mean square error of the forecast. For that, we need the error terms. What are the error terms? Uh, they are actually the difference between the actual sales, which is 100, minus the forecasted sales. And we will do this for each year that we have actual data. And then we need the uh, error square. Error square is going to be calculated as the square of the error. And again, we do it for each year. And then we need the sum of error square, sum of error square, which is, we can use the sum command, summing all the years. And then we need the mean sum of error square, which is going to be 26.9 divided by 6, since we have 6. Uh, years available 
And the last thing is we are going to calculate the root mean error square, which is square root. Square root command is going to calculate it for you. 2.1. So, with this method, we find the uh, forecasted sales for 2007, which is around 174. And we calculate the root mean square error of forecasting, which is 2.1. Now, uh, we are going to do, the second thing we are going to do is log linear model. For log linear model, we need natural logarithm of sales. Let's insert one more column here. And let's say this column is the length sales. And for calculating the natural logarithm, you just need to write a line and then put the number. The Excel is going to calculate for you. So now, instead of using sales as a uh, dependent variable, as a dependent variable in the linear equation model, I'm going to use the natural logarithm of sales. So let's do it again. The same things we did uh, in the linear model. We will insert a scatter plot. Okay, this is our scatter plot, and again, let's make some arrangements on the graph. This is going to be time, and then this is going to be instead of sales, now it is a line. And now I want to give a title to the graph. Which is going to be sales. Okay. Now again I'm going to put a linear trend. For linear trend, I'll choose the trend line. More trend line options, linear display equation and display r square done now we have the linear equation so we can be able to forecast let's do that let's insert one more column and let's say forecasted sales for this model forecasted sales for this model is going to be we're using uh, the linear equation 4.5042 uh, is the constant term plus 0 0.0932 uh, times a year so we can do it for each year right and we can do it for 2007 which is going to be 5.90 so this since this is the nature logarithm of sales we have to get exponential in order to find the actual sales number. So for 2007, the actual sales are forecasted to be 180 units. Now we have two forecast methods and if we want to compare these forecast methods, we need to calculate the root mean square error. Let's calculate the root mean square error for this model. So we need to insert more columns. First error, error is going to be the difference between actual sales minus this and we will do it for every year. And then the error square is going to be the same method and we do it for every year. And then the sum of error squares, sum of error square, there's the sum of these all columns okay and the mean sum of error square is going to be this number divided by six and root mean square error is going to be this number square root so now we have two root mean square error and you will realize that the root mean square error for the log linear model is smaller than the root mean square error of the linear model. So we will choose the log linear model and we say that log linear model forecasts better than uh, linear model.